All right, so the case that we have, um, our patient's name is Bruce Wayne, 65 years old. He is presenting to us with low back pain with insidious onset, and he has some difficulties doing some of the hobbies that he likes, specifically working on his Batmobile. So we're gonna go through a couple um, progressions of exercise to help him with his low back pain and increase his um, functional capacity so that he no longer has any issues working on his Batmobile. Alrighty, Bruce, so we're gonna begin with the first exercise here, and then we're gonna assume the position, what we call hook line position. So we're just gonna be laying on our back here. I'm gonna demo it for you, and then I'll um, let you assume this position. So, just gonna be laying on our back. This stair band's gonna be um, just right underneath our low back. And then we're gonna put it in between here. And all this is just kind of set up for me to help facilitate some of that uh, muscle activation and control for you. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be pulling on these stair bands and it's going to bring you into a little bit of extension in your low back. Um, we're only going to do that as is comfortable for you at this stage in the rehab. Um, but what I want you to do is when I pull you into a little bit of that, what we call um, anterior tilt of pelvis. When your low back starts to arch, you're going to do the opposite and then you're going to try to flatten your low back um, going against the resistance of the bands. Does that make sense? I think so. All right, let's go ahead. Come on down here. All right, perfect. Pull the is going to go here and I'm going to come through here. And I'm going to pull on the stair band and let me know if you have any discomfort with this. But I'm just going to pull you into a little bit where your back is going to arch. You feel your back arching? Yep. Feels comfortable enough? Yep. yep. All right. So now what I want you to do is try to flatten your low back. Try to put your low back flat against the ground. Yep. Good job. Activate your core here. And then I'll pull again. We'll come out of that motion. And then flatten your back once more. Okay. Yep. Good job. Try not to let your butt come off the ground. Don't try not to push through your heels too much. Doing a good job. And on this next one, I want you to hold for five seconds there if you can. Yep, really good job. Hold for five, and then we'll come back up. And then we would do about three, three to four sets of these, um, anywhere in that eight to 12 rep range, holding for about five seconds. Really good job. This is this will help um, facilitate some motor control of your pelvis as well as some core activation um, in that early stage. Cool. Good job with that. All right, Bruce. Now for this next exercise we're going to be doing is going to be very similar to that roll we were just doing on the mat. But now we're off the mat. We're onto this ball here. It's going to add some more uh, dynamic stability while you're doing your uh, those tilts, kind of rolling of the hips we were doing earlier. This time I'm going to be also giving you some rotation aspect that I want you to be kind of resisting. So you'll be doing a counter rotation. What that will look like is your hands are just going to be held straight up. Okay? I'll be pulling the band out to the side. And while you're holding this position, that's when we'll do our rotation. Okay, so I want you to think about how you're feeling on the mat. Same idea here, mostly that pelvic control. And we're throwing in some upper extremity as well. Okay, sounds good. Does that sound about right? So let's go ahead, assume the position there. Nice. Give you some resistance. Just a little bit. Okay, now go ahead and start doing those rolls. And back and activation. Good. Good job. Making sure. Some activation here. Flex like this. Good. Good job. Really focusing on the roll here. Good job pulling the shoulders. Nice kind of rotation. For this, we would do about four sets. And then we would do 15 to about 20 reps, depending on how Bruce is feeling um, that day. No hold time, but to be a really good activator. Okay. Since you have progressed so well in your rehab thus far, we're ready for a little bit more advanced exercise. So for this next one, we're gonna be on all fours here. I'm gonna demonstrate, um, show you before we switch positions here. But we're gonna have one foot on this slider. And what we're gonna do here is, um, Maintain a, a neutral neutral core at the start, neutral pelvic pelvis position at the start. And what, what I want you to do is we're gonna kick one leg out, 
squeeze that um, butt cheek on that side. And at the same time you do that, we're gonna rotate with the opposite arm. We'll come in, back out. And this is a really good exercise for you because it incorporates some dynamic core control. Um, we incorporate some glute activation. And then we also um, are putting you into a little bit of extension um, in your low back where you try not to hang out for too long. So this is a good way to ease into that while incorporating some other stuff. So let's go ahead and switch here. Slider on one, you got it. Then a neutral pelvis to start, and then go ahead and um, with this leg here, kick it out. Perfect, really squeeze this glue on that side. And then let's go ahead and rotate on the other side as much as you can. Yep, great job. We'll come back in. Perfect, and then let's go ahead and do one more, and then we'll switch sides. Yep, really good. We're squeezing the glutes. Good rotation on the other side. And switch over. Yep, really good. Nice rotation. Good glute squeeze. Awesome, great job. All right, Bruce, this next exercise, um, kind of more of that middle range activation that we're going for now that you've progressed really well. It'll be off the this nice uh, theraball here. We're gonna use one pound dumbbells, nice and easy. Right off the bat, we're gonna do some Y's and T's to help incorporate a more full range of motion and stability of your lumbar extensors and kind of more of the glute activation. activation you try to maintain that. And using the dumbbells as well in your arm motions, we'll be doing that. We call it um, scapular thoracic uh, kind of motion, but for you, we're just gonna try to incorporate the arms. It'll be really, I think, beneficial. Okay, so what that exercise will look like is we'll do some T's. So really hug the ball, then you're gonna come up and try to hold this position for three seconds. Then go ahead and relax. And we'll do a couple of those and then we'll move on to the Y's, which is the same idea. We're just in a different motion. So you're gonna move forward and then we're gonna be coming up, holding for three and relax. I want you to try to maintain a nice, good, uh, Chin position here to keep our back in a nice neutral um, position. Okay, make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. So go ahead and the ball, get that tummy on. We'll start with those T's, so you'll be right off to your side. Hugging the ball, kind of squeezing those glutes and coming on up. Good, squeeze, good, keeping the elbows bent, nice and relaxed. Good three second holds on those ones. Go ahead again. Two, three, good job. Let's go to those Y's, see what that will look like. Kind of more out front, good. Come up, squeeze a little more forward, good. And relax, nice. Try to feel what those guys are doing, coming up. Nice, two, three, and relax, excellent. We're gonna do three to four sets of this with uh, 10 to 12 reps with that three second hold. I think that'll be pretty beneficial. Alrighty, Bruce, um, this next one here, we're going to be incorporating a little bit more functional uh, movements here. We're going to be kind of full body here. Um, so what we're going to be working on, we're going to be working on um, our squatting and picking up things from the floor and then incorporating some explosive movement from that. So essentially all, all we're going to do, I'm going to roll you a medicine ball. You'll be where I am here. You're going to roll me a medicine ball or I'm going to roll you a medicine ball. We're going to squat down pick it up, and then from here, we're gonna do a, a step forward with a, with a strong push. Mm -hmm. We're gonna throw the medicine ball back to me, and then I'll roll you a different medicine ball. Um, and every of, each of the three medicine balls has a little bit different weight to them, so that'll add that component in there as well, um, so that you can adapt to that. And what I want you to do, when I roll you each medicine ball, we'll squat down, and then we're gonna alternate which leg we step with. All right. Sound good? Yep. All right. All right, so first one here, squat down, power press off, great job. And then we're gonna do this for time. We'll go about 30, 40 seconds. Make sure to alternate each leg, great job. This is working 
on some of that mumbo pelvic rhythm and lower extremity strength so that you can be strong enough to work on Batmobile and have the endurance to do so for the time that you would like to. Perfect, great job. All right, Bruce, you progressed really well, so we're gonna kind of hit this last stage. It's gonna be a huge dynamic motor control stability, and we're hitting a bunch of planes of motion while we're doing this, okay? Because we know that sometimes you lift your car up, you gotta work underneath it, so we're gonna be incorporating some endurance and stability also of the uh, shoulders and your back, okay? So this exercise is kind of important to follow the ball. It's gonna be dropping down with us and then coming up when we get to the top, okay? So we're gonna go into a reverse lunge, ball follows, then we're gonna come up, Balls now on the other side of our body, and while we're doing it, we're doing a step up, hold it, come down, right back into the next one, okay? So for this, we'd probably do three sets. We're gonna do for time, we'll go 30 seconds. See how you feel with that, okay? We're gonna that stability. Go ahead and give it a try. Make sure your foot is safe and planted on the bow suit before you step up, please. Sounds good. Step, and now drive up. Maintain, good. Come on down. Right. Reverse lunge again, right into it. Go. Good job, Bruce. Stand up, and down. Right into it. Yes. Good, and then after this, we'll take a break and we'll switch legs for the next set, okay? Sounds good. Sweet. Good job. Oink. Get over here so it looks like I'm actually talking to you. Oh. Behind? <laughs> 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 <laughs>